Hey everybody, I have uh, Brett here, and uh, today I guess is day 60. Is that right? Day 60. So, um, when I originally had said to my wife that I was committing to two months, um, you know, she had, a, had it in her mind that I'd be doing it for 60 days. Uh, I had it in my mind that I would be doing it for eight weeks. Uh, but yeah, I guess today is officially 60 days. Um, so I guess two months, depending on who wants to count. But, uh, but yeah, I uh, um, had a pretty decent day. So today was a little bit weird. Um, another pretty crazy day at work. Um, just got, we got a lot of stuff going on in my office right now. And um, being a project manager, uh, a couple of my projects, one just went live. One is... Um, still in early stages but it's kind of one of these transition periods and um just a lot of stuff to get done real fast and then another one is actually getting ready to go into a testing cycle so uh just been a lot of stuff going on so it's been just been making it kind of busy for me so um but it's it's good it's good to be busy um a lot better than having nothing to do and not being employed anymore so um kind of kind of happy with my situation um, and I work for a good company, so it's, uh, it's all good. But, uh, um, one of the odd things today is my wife got some really, really good news. Um, and I'll let her share it, um, some point here, but she got some really good news in her, uh, in her world. And so my men's group meets on Thursday nights. I've mentioned this before. So I, you know, I host, uh, a host slash facilitate a, a, a men's Bible study. And uh, tonight was that night and um, they had been praying for this, this situation for her to occur and, and it occurred. So uh, we toasted to my wife and, and I went ahead and toasted with her. So she and I both had, had a drink tonight or a shot really. Um, good old fashioned Goldschlager. Uh, if you guys don't know what Goldschlager is, find some, give it a taste. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I will guarantee you that it is definitely not carnivore. Uh, it's very sweet, uh, sweet and cinnamony. But uh, but yeah, it's good. It's a it's a liqueur. So so that was like my biggest off for the day. Um, did my bacon and eggs. Um, did bacon and eggs uh, around around noon, um, and it was kind of funny because I I walked into the lunchroom, and there was uh, four people from from my team in the lunchroom. One of which uh, was on my eight day trip with me, and uh, I walk in and they're like, "Hey, I was just talking about you. We we're talking about how you're becoming an influencer and da 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 da." Right? So, um, and they just started asking me about the carnivore stuff, and I explained to it. Um, and the one girl, she's like, I can't believe it. I'll, I'll eat, I eat like a whole bag of candy every other day. Um, but this, this woman is, um, not to be insulting or anything. She's, she's a tiny little, tiny little lady. Um, young, young lady. She's in her, um, mid late twenties. Um, but she, uh, super smart girl. She's working on two, she's worked on two of my projects now. She's, the key on one of them amazing amazing skill set so um she's like i can imagine i said well here's the deal you obviously can handle it because you're your size i two months ago was three of you so i can't do that i have to do something different um so you know we just start talking they're, they're just questioning me like what do you really eat like like, how, how can you eat the same thing all the time? And I said, have you ever tasted bacon? And there was somebody else that was in there that, you know, works in a different department. And and she's also a very, 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 very slim uh, woman. And uh, she goes, you got a point. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know what? How is it not easy to think about eating bacon every day? Um and I, I said, well, what else do you eat? And I said, I eat eggs every day. I'm like, just eggs? 
I was like, yeah, bacon and eggs. But it could be a scrambled egg, a fried egg, hard boiled egg, a poached egg. It started to sound like the, the scene in Forrest Gump with the shrimp. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm like, so you can, you can change it up a little bit. I said, and steak is just freaking awesome. So, um, you know, and I can change the type of steak. It's going to give me a little bit different texture, a little bit, a little bit different flavor can spread it around. So it was, uh, it was just, it was an interesting conversation to have with him because one of them is a like CrossFit competitor, like, and she's very regimented about everything that she eats. Um, and I mean, extremely fit, strong. She rides her bike into work 40 minutes, um, a couple times a week, especially when the weather's nice. Um, rides it in, rides it home. She runs with her dog. She works out every day. Like she, she's got a whole thing. Um, and she and I have been talking a little bit about this. She like, she's like, well, you really do need A, B, C, and D. I'm like, well, I, I'm proving that I'm don't, I don't need those things. Um, one guy has just always kind of just been kind of slim, you know, doesn't eat a lot, but doesn't worry about eating certain things. And he's, uh, he's about 50. So a little, little, just a little bit older than me. Um, and then uh, the real slender woman and then the the guy that uh, I was traveling with, who's 26. Today was his birthday. Um, so he just turned 26. And, you know, he's just a slim guy, but he's very, you know, busy. He does, you know, skis and he mountain bikes and things like that. So it's, uh, it's interesting to have this conversation with them, I think. Don't really know anything about it. You know, the guy that was traveling with me, he knows the most about it. Um, but the one thing that was common amongst all of them is they all know and acknowledge very clearly that the food pyramid and the standard American diet and all that stuff is all garbage. Um, so, you know, none of them like follow it or abide by it or believe in it. So it's, it's interesting that it's hard for people to believe that I would do this when they know the other thing is so wrong. So it's just, just odd, but you know, I, I enjoy talking to people about it now. Um, my men's group tonight, because I was traveling, they had, most of them have not seen me, uh, for, you know, three weeks. So, I mean, in three weeks, I haven't lost a ton more weight, but I think like things are, are slimming down. I, I, Things are, I don't know, they're just, they're, they're different. It's showing more. So um, it's pretty, it's pretty great to, to have them, all my buddies, like make the comments, like, God, where the hell did you go? Like, you lost all this weight, you're getting skinny and da, 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 right? You look great is, is the basic consensus. So it's just, it's, it's nice. Um, and there's one guy in the group who is carnivore. Uh, I did not realize this when I started, uh, but he and I have talked a couple times. He actually brought me uh, a sample of the chili mango, I think it is, uh, element, which is an electrolyte uh, supplement that you can just put in water. Um, I haven't used any of them yet. Uh, I've been using, excuse me, uh, I've been using the um, my home created version of element based on their recipe. So um, this one just has a little bit of flavor in it. So it's got some extra uh, stuff in it. And I think it has some stevia in it. So I've been telling myself I didn't want to use any of those. And so I might just kind of hold on to it. Um, but, I mean, maybe I won't use it at all. We'll see. But it's it's not as clean. But neither was the Goldschlager. So um, I'm not perfect carnivore. I don't claim to be perfect carnivore, but I do try to be pretty close. So, you know, yeah, that's, that's kind of where it's at. So, um, you know, this morning I woke up, I did weigh myself today. Uh, I was, uh, 288, 288.1. Yeah, I think it was, or two, no, 288.9 today. Um, so, um, you know, right in that range, I haven't dropped anything right now. Um, but I do fully expect to, to get more of it. Uh, I'm getting two new foster dogs on Saturday 
and they're going to need to learn how to walk on a leash and everything. So I'm going to have to be out walking them. Um, so that's going to give me some more exercise. And then um, my wife, um, you know, I had to study tonight. She went ahead and um, went to the gym. So, um, and I just found out that my buddies go to a different gym and there's a couple of reasons. And I just found out how inexpensive it is. So uh, I'm going to look into that. Actually, when I get done here, I'm going to look into that tonight and possibly change gyms. And uh, then I can go with a couple of the guys from my group, um, one of which used to work as a fitness instructor. He, he's worked in the, the gym and fitness industry for a long time. So he could actually help me with some of the questions that I was mentioning yesterday. I just don't know where to start. So um, that's a pretty good, pretty good possibility for me. So we'll see. But, um, but yeah, 288.9, uh, I didn't, I didn't take my sugar, or my glucose or my, my glucose or my ketones today. Uh, just such a crazy day at work. It started immediately when I got in there at like seven o'clock, finished up at like five thirty or quarter to six today. So it was just a, a really long, solid packed day, except for my 20 minutes I took to, uh, to actually stop and eat my food and talk to my coworkers. So. I'll, I'll get back on my numbers tomorrow, but, um, but yeah, we're, we're working, we're feeling good. Yeah, that's where we're at. So, uh, nothing else to really share today. Um, oh, my, you know, I won't say this. My wife is losing weight. I won't say how much, um, I'll save that for her to share on Monday. Um, after her, she does her weekly weigh in, but she's seen improvement. And it's making her want to continue to be clean. So that's what I got for you today. I will talk to you all tomorrow.